Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Auto Pets. I am Blueberry Piper. Hello, hello. Um, let's get started playing some more arena on the standard pack because you know because I don't feel like playing the pay to play pack right now. Just want to go for something uh, reliable, you know, like a comfort food. <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. I should have played the horse first. Oh, that's fine. Because I'd rather have the horse and the duck, I think. If I'm being honest. Overexcited reactors. Very dangerous. Need anyone seen, uh, what's that, what's that show called? Uh, Chernobyl? Anyone seen Chernobyl? It, it's a good show. It's about, like, um... The Chernobyl uh, power plant meltdown, of course. If that wasn't already obvious from the name. Ooh, I hate this. I hate this. So I think I just roll. Yeah, sure. Okay, well. Okay, well. I'll keep those. Yeah, I didn't really want to buy the pigs there. I'd rather just roll than have. A few bad units, right? Ah, and we still win! Fantastic, fantastic. Those ants really came in clutch and saved the day, I think. Get the ant. Okay, get a giraffe, early giraffe, always good. Sell the horse, I think. Because I want to buy the otter and I want it to land on something good. Okay, sure. Uh, I think I buffed the fish up, maybe? Probably? I don't want to buff the ant because it's unbuffed. Pristine ant ready to be pilled. Because if I. If I put buffs in it, then I feel bad about pilling it, right? Then I lose out on the buffs. But if I buff the fish, then, you know, I keep it. Um, question is, do I want to buff the fish or the mosquito? Fish is like a good, nice bodied unit, right? 2-3. But the mosquito is stronger at the moment. So why not buff that? But the thing is, I have a pair of fishes. So I can, uh, well, let's roll first, you know? Let's roll. See, ah, there we go. See, we, we got a fish. We got a fish. So that means I should invest more in the fish. Nice. And a pill comes in clutch. Fantastic. Freezing up the whole dang shop. Yeah. Nice, nice. I've kind of been thinking about like what type of content I want to make with Super Auto Pets and uh, I don't know it's I'm happy with just making these videos right like these gameplay videos they seem to be getting like pretty good views I'm not complaining at all so I mean if you guys want I can like make so many of these <laughs> I can do this quite consistently because it's it doesn't really like bother me at all it's not like I have to do a lot of editing, right, on this type of video. I usually just, um, should I, should I level up here or save it for next turn? I think screw it, let's just level up here. I, I don't think that matters. I'll put the otter in front because it's so strong. Yeah, like all I do for these videos is just play a couple games at the end of my day. And then uh, the next day, I kind of like watch them and then edit them. But I don't need to do that much editing, so... You know, I can like make as make these videos as long as... I can basically make these videos as long as there's people willing to watch them. Mm, yeah, happy to keep doing it. Yeah, but I wonder how long that's gonna be possible, right? Because people might get bored of the game. The game might, the game's popularity might fall off. And another thing is just I'm still not bored of the game, which is kind of surprising. <laughs> it's still fun to me, even after all this time. How many hours do I have? Like, uh, I think 150 hours now approaching that. Usually when I play games, I tend to get bored of them quite quickly, quite easily. So I'm kind of surprised that I'm still playing this game after all this time. Oh no, we lose. But it's just 
has this certain charm to it, you know? Like, optimizing. <laughs> just optimizing the animals just feels so good somehow. Crazy. Uh, okay, so do I want to buff the otter or the giraffe? I think giraffe's good enough to buff. It rivals the otters and stats even better than the otters and stats. So I'm um, gonna keep that. I'm gonna buy a fish at the end just to, you know, hang out. Uh, do I care about garlic anymore? Garlic on the otter could be good. Sure, I'll keep it. Thing is, I don't need garlic right now. Oh, or maybe even garlic on the giraffe could be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I keep thinking of giraffe as a buffer that's kind of weak, but it's not. It's so strong right now. So that's kind of my bad for thinking about the giraffe that way. So I'll buy a rabbit, because why not? Ooh, bison? Two bisons I'll freeze, okay? Like, one bison I, I don't get out for in the morning, but two bisons, I'll freeze them. I might even want to sell the rabbit to buy another bison, because rolling the shop for two things, two units, kind of suck, right? If I'm freezing one thing, I want to keep it, keep the shop open. Right. Um, yeah, I'll continue making this type of videos, but at the same time, um, I kind of want to make more guides as well. So there's there's like the different animal archetypes guide that I'm still working on. Um, that I hope will come up well. Well, not, not the animal archetypes one, that's already out. Um, the one I'm working on right now is like the guide that's specific for buffers and I kind of go into quite a lot of detail talking about what my thoughts are on buffers and how you should use them and what types of buffers are good what you should look out for you know the whole shebang and I think those videos always do well it's like oh and of course I, I need to make another video about mechanics right I've since I put out my first mechanics video which is the first video that got me views on this on Super Auto Pets to begin with, I've had like, I've noticed a lot of new things about the game. A lot of mechanics that I kind of want to share. Uh, do I want the bison? I mean, do I want the monkey here? I think penguin's better right now, right? Unless I sell the otter. I can always sell the otter for monkey. Yeah, let's do that. I don't need the otter, I think. I think I can afford to be weak. All right. So what was I saying? Um, yeah, those those types of videos always do well, so I'm hoping to do more of them because, you know, it's gonna attract more people to the channel and then that's when they can check out, you know, the gameplay videos, right? My fish is really strong right now. Okay, well, second monkey, I love it. Give me the monkey. I'm seeing a lot of cans here, but I'm not interested. All right, level three fish. That's what we've been waiting for. I a uh, snake. Do I want a snake? Nah. My stats are just super strong. So I'm gonna try to rely on like brute force scaling right now and try and win before we get to the late game. Uh, yeah, I can definitely do that against that team at least. Uh, just don't run into like a scorpion with. Melon armor, not melon armor, with a, uh, what's that thing called? With a mushroom, that would be terrible. Just don't run into a scorpion with, <laughs> that kills my fish basically. Um, do I even want to freeze a fly? If I can get a level 2 fly early on, that'd be pretty insane too. Like if I roll a chocolate here, I'd be happy. The chocolate. If I roll a chocolate here, I'd be happy. Well, can't complain with the melon armor. Because I think the penguin's gonna go soon. So I'll keep all these things, right? Next turn I can melon and then cow and then cat. So, yeah. And then sell the cat, replace it with a fly. If I roll... Uh, what's that thing called? Chocolate. If I roll chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. We got a very strong team. And you always just want to win, like, you want to win decisively, 
but not too much, you know? That's, that's kind of the trick, right? You want to be strong enough to win decisively, but you don't want to win... You don't want to win too decisively, for lack of a better term. Because if you win by too much, then it's... Alright, let's just roll. Nice. That, that's what we wanted. Anyway, yeah, so if you win by too much, then it's kind of bad in its own way too. Um, because it means you're not really playing enough buffers to scale your team, right? Um, you want a mix of like being strong, just strong enough, but not being too strong. The balance. Um, so just a word here, I am keeping my monkey behind and not the fly. Uh, I would have done this even pre-patch, like even if the fly, even if the fly has infinite triggers, for example, I would still keep it in this position. Why? Because of the alligator, right? You want to keep your monkey at the end, like your buffer at the end, so if the alligator hits it, it doesn't kill your fly. Um, that does not apply for dolphin, sadly, because my monkey has more health than my fly, unfortunately. Uh, if my monkey had less health, that would be even better, right? Because then the monkey can absorb the hit. So, yeah. I'm just saying, like, these things because I've been working on my buffer video, so I kind of have a lot of thoughts about how to use buffers right now. So uh, yeah, check out the video when it comes out, hey hey. And you'll get to hear these insights if they are interesting to you at all. Yep. I think uh, with YouTube as well, like it's not just with playing Super Auto Pets, right? It's with YouTube, you also have to kind of balance your um, content, maybe? You, uh, you gotta make content that... Yay, we won! Wow, what a great team! Whoa! Hooray, we won! As I was saying, you, you gotta make content that both caters to the people who are subscribed to you that like that want to see more of it, and you gotta make content that draws new people in, right? Ah, uh, here we go. Arena mode. Let's run it back. And it's kind of a meme, kind of a, you know, in, in every dream video, you know, dream the Minecraft speedrunner. Uh, super popular. But you know, in, in the beginning of every one of his videos, he goes like, oh, you know, uh, I, I see that 70% uh, of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed and then they he tells you to subscribe But that's kind of a good thing, right? Because YouTube's showing so many of your videos to people that aren't even subscribed to you Overpowered buttocks, you gotta go with, for that, right? Or maybe even overpowered packages Nah, buttocks is just better The clear winner <laughs> It's like, but, like, words like but have just just have the immaturity buff to it, you know? It's like a buff that makes it more likely to be picked. Like when you play Jackbox or whatever like party game. Oh maybe I should have bought the one of the uh crickets there. But oh well, I think I think this is fine. Alright, I'm just gonna sell the horse. Like screw the horse man. I don't care. I don't care about horses. I want ants. I want fishes. I keep the fish. I didn't see another fish. Uh, ah, let's just roll. Um, in the past, I would want to keep my shop, my uh, animal shops open, so I have so I maximize my chance of rolling dogs because dogs were tier two. But now, since dogs are tier three, like I, I don't really care too much about things that come out on tier 2 anymore like I guess there's swan swan's pretty good but yeah I don't I don't care that much to be honest I sell the horse the sooner I get the horse out of the way the better <laughs> I'm a noted horse hater prolific horse hater in here okay well I'll keep the ant I'll keep the uh, swan swan's always good hopefully the kangaroo gets triggered more than once I would like the ant to attack twice here
okay, okay, looks good, looks good. Oh no, we lose by one health? That's kind of bad. That's fine. We can recover. We can recover from this, right, guys? I didn't see another mosquito, so... Just gonna buy another one. Uh, Flamingo, I can freeze that if I see a pill. If I see a pill. There we go, a pill. Um, yeah, let's order up. Okay, well, if you're gonna keep buffing my ant, I guess I'm gonna keep my ant. Yeah, the pills for the flamingo. Because <clears throat> in the early game, you don't really have a lot of things that buffs your animals. So flamingo is one of those... Flamingo pill combo is one of those rare units that can buff your units. Okay, we're kind of taking another L here. Not great. Okay, another mosquito. Nice. I mean, what am I saying? Another flamingo. That's nice. Combine this, I think. And we snail up. And buy a mosquito. Gonna keep the swan. Uh, keep the swan. I guess I will buy a kangaroo and try to get it to level two. Uh, I don't need to, but since it's there, I might as well go for it. Okay. 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 Nice kangaroo. Strong kangaroo. All right. I think we're stabilizing a little bit now. We were kind of weak before, but now we're coming back. Uh, oh, I love it. I love a good ox. With... Uh, with the uh, flamingo as well. Fantastic. Fantastic. I love it. Okay. And uh, I guess I buy sheep for now. Okay, well, if you're gonna give the kangaroo to me, I might as well buy it. Uh, I'll freeze the garlic, i probably put it on the ant, okay. Nice, we're looking very strong right now. Very strong. Look at this ant. Look at this kangaroo. Jeez. Alright, didn't even, didn't even touch my ox. Which is probably a sign that I don't need it. Remember guys, anytime you have a unit that doesn't even see combat, you probably don't need it, right? Like, it's too strong, you, you don't need it. <laughs> you can instead run another buffer here. Um, so, that being said, should I run the turkey? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'll freeze the turtle, I guess? What goes on the turtle, though? I mean, what does the turtle go on? The kangaroo, I suppose? I don't know how long I'll keep this kangaroo. The kangaroo kind of falls off in the late game because it relies on the unit in front hitting a lot. So... If the unit in front dies in one hit, like in the late game, then the kangaroo is not going to be strong. But right now it's a beast, okay? It's kind of like a strength difference amplifier, you know what I mean? It's like, if you're already stronger than your opponent, then the kangaroo makes it even stronger. It's a snowballer, that's what I want to say. It's a piggybacker and a snowballer, right? It piggybacks off your unit in front, and the stronger your unit in front is versus your opponent, the stronger your kangaroo will be. So the more you're winning, the even more you're winning. I, I, I don't know what I'm saying, okay? Take it as it is. Um, hmm. Maybe I sell my ox to fit a turtle. Yo, can I get a interesting unit to play with? Oh! What am I saying? I saw my sheep, duh. Sheep's not even doing anything. Do I want to upgrade my ox? I don't think so. Like, the kangaroo already plays the role of a strong unit that's being activated by the ants. So I definitely don't need to um, keep the ox that much. Uh, so I, I might sell the ox soon. But right now, a bison is going to be great for our scaling. And let's keep buffing the ant for now, because I'm it's likely to stick, stick around till the late game. Oh no! Counter it, counter it, counter it. My bad. <laughs> Misplay. Am I going to lose? Ah, I lost, I lost, I lost, I lost, I lost. Misplay, dude. Maybe I should put something in front then? No, I think the solution is putting a turtle in front of the ant, right? I need to protect it. Can I see a pill though? Like, hello? I, I think it's time for my pill. Please? Um, please? Okay, well... Oh my god, okay. Well, um, I'll, I'll put my ox in front then. Well, 
just in case I ran into the same guy. It, it's it's been known to happen. Like quite often, I ran into the exact same guy. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. Completely fine. All right. Uh, let's not lose here, okay? Because that'd be pretty embarrassing, you know. Pretty darn embarrassing to just lose here after talking so much trash. <laughs> uh, Monkey Man is always great. So I think I keep Monkey Man. Right? Ah, uh, but... See, this, this is the problem. I want to use the chocolate on Monkey Man, but at the same time, I want to buy a cow. But if I buy the Monkey Man, then... But if I buy the cow first, you know, it replaces the chocolate. But if I buy the monkey man first, then I can't put my cow anywhere. So it's like a catch-22, if I'm using that e expression correctly. All right, so I guess I have to settle with putting my chocolate on something else. Is it the bison? Or is it the swan? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I don't think the bison's gonna hit level 3. I don't think. But at the same time, the swan is only level 1, and I might sell it at any time. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Honestly, maybe I skip the chocolate. <laughs> Since it can't go on my monkey, then, you know, whatever. Just skip it, right? Ah, damn. Ah. I'll keep a level 2 swan for a while. It's probably good. What? What? Yo, I did not know this was a thing. Okay, we, we gotta record this. I did not know this was a thing. Well, good thing I'm already recording this, but I, I gotta like remember this part of the video because I thought when you buy the cow, it replaces both slots with food, but it seems like if your shop is full up, then it doesn't replace the animal? This is kind of weird. I've, I did not know this was how it behaved. A bit disappointed that I only got one milk. <laughs> Unlucky. And can I please, please see a pill? I've had this turtle frozen for years. Okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. No need to panic. Still getting wins, still getting dub skis. Oh my god, please, please, sir. A pill, please. Um. Okay, there we go. A pill. But what do we do now? Do we sell the swan? I kind of hate to do it. Or maybe sell the kangaroo. Like, it's it's time is over, right? Like, how likely is the ant to attack more than once? Not likely at all. So goodbye, kangaroo. You were strong, but your time is up. And the bison's time is now. You can't see it, but its time is now. It's the franchise. Its time is now. <laughs> um, okay, so what do I want to do here? I could sell the cow by a crocodile and be slightly stronger, but I eh, think I'd rather just roll for something better here. Crap, we didn't see anything better. I guess a swan is okay. Alright. Okay, let's go, let's go. Overpowered buttocks, let's go! Fishy mouse, ha! Puny hippo, you do not stand a chance against my bison. Bison, more like goodbye, son, because uh, your team's getting destroyed. Haha! <laughs> I don't want the dragon. Dragon could be good, but what what unit do I sell to buff my team with? I guess a monkey. I guess a monkey? Alright, well, uh... I saw this actually, I don't... I don't actually care about, um... I actually care about... Getting the cow to level 2. So... I can sell the cow, just for some money. Yeah, let's run this. This is the last of our monkey buff, I think. After this, we're gonna swap for... Saw the monkey out for some dragon scaling. Oh my god, no! Oh my god! Oh my god, no! No! Hedgehog build! Skunks! 
My worst enemy. I don't have any summons. Ah, rip. Well. Can't complain. You gotta give him props for making the hedgehog work. It's not an easy build to run. Especially since you need a lot of hedgehogs. Did he have a whale? Damn, he managed to find a whale and make it work in this meta when whale is tier 5. Alright, you, 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 got, you gotta respect that. But I think we're gonna just call this an episode then. Alright guys, thank you for watching and uh, see you guys next time. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.